Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Google Classroom's Stream. So let's get started. Right now we are at the home page for Google Classroom and I'm going to go ahead and select a classroom of mine from last year. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that I'm automatically launched into the stream view of my Google Classroom. And I'd like to talk to you about your different options on how to utilize the stream. Last spring, I found the stream to be an efficient way to communicate with my students on a daily basis. So last year, while we were remoting from home, I saw this particular class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so rather than email them every day, what the plan would be, I would post an announcement in the stream. And so if you look here on May 5th, I would tell them exactly what to do. So I would be, sh I would make sure to say for the day and the date. So for Tuesday, May 5th, before class begins at 10 a.m., I need you to do these three things. Open up our Google Meet, open up our daily slide deck, and open up the Play Death of a Salesman. So I was expecting that those three functions would happen before 10 a.m. Now, as we would read, I would make note where we left off on Tuesday, where did we complete, and I would set my agenda for the next class meeting, which would be Thursday. And what's nice about Google Classroom is the ability to schedule the posting of anything, really. So in the stream, I would create an announcement and I would schedule that announcement to post to students stream at 7.30 in the morning. So on the day class met at 7.30 in the morning, all of my students would get the day's agenda. They would know what to expect and when to expect it. If you take a minute just to scroll, as I scroll slowly through my stream, you'll see that it's day after day after day with reminders potentially, agendas most likely, and the way I'm able to keep this nice and clean is by a setting in Google Class in Google Classroom in the Google Classroom setting. So let's go ahead, click on the Classrooms gear, and take a look at those setting options. So here with the stream, I have it set that students can post and comment, but I can always change that to have them only be able to comment or they can post or comment. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Only teachers can post or comment. So you have three levels of permissions that you can choose from. Now, the big thing here is classwork on the stream. The way I'm able to keep my stream clean is that I hide all classwork notifications. Let me show you what this looks like if I enable show condensed notifications. So I'm going to go ahead and change what the stream looks like. I'm going to save it. And you'll see now that interwoven with the announcements are the different types of assignments that I posted between the classes. So if I go back to the last day of class on June 18th, I asked a question as well as I posted an announcement. Let me go back into settings and show you what attachments and details look like on the stream. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And so now instead of a condensed version of an assignment, you get a full view of an assignment. Um, so like I said at the start of this tutorial, I've decided that this just isn't the way I want to use the stream. I want to use the stream exclusively for 
agendas and last minute announcements or reminders even. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to hide notifications. I hit save. And then again, you can walk back Thursday, one last announcement, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, and you can see that it's nice and clean. It took me a long time to train my students not to look for classwork notifications in the stream. I had to train them that when they were looking for, for instance, um, 5.1, open the daily, that they had to go into the classwork tab in order to locate the document we would be utilizing for the day. And there it is, 5.1. There are pros and cons to this, of course. Um, I find that if I am organized in my classwork tab with how I'm directing my students to access my materials, then posting classwork to the stream is just not necessary. In fact, it can be dismantling if a student opens up an assignment that gets posted to the stream and you're not really ready for that student to open the assignment. So just another reason to keep the stream um, clean and focused with purpose. So I hope this helps you think through how you hope to use the stream for your own classes. Thanks for watching.